All right, everybody, welcome to Wednesday Winners. It's a fresh month of October. This is the first Wednesday. Start thinking about your goals. You should have thought of them on the first. Always going to have your tracker. Should be tracking your business like I do. I do a paper version and I do uh, the um, Excel version or Google Sheets version as well. Jason, I'm sure you know how to do that inside and out. But uh, it's important to track your business because it's it shows you where you're at and where you need to step up to get to your goal. OK, so it's going to show you how to pivot where you need to say, hey, I've got something to do Thursday. Um, I need to change it so that I can put more time into what I'm doing in order to hit my goal. For instance, I haven't written any business until today. Just a crazy week. Now I've written two policies, but I canceled my plans tomorrow so that I could go back to work. Guys, this is all about delayed gratification. I could go out tomorrow and I could do something with my dad. We're, we're just going to go riding four wheelers in the morning up the mountains. I can do that at any point in time, right? But my business and my goals are right here. So I have delayed gratification to make sure that I can hit there. You know, I'm practicing that discipline so that I can hit my goal. Tonight's topic is about the products that we have, okay? What are the products? When to use the products, right? Because that can get a little confusing. The first statement I need to make is that if you're brand new, you don't need to know everything about every single process. You're going to learn them as you go. That's the most important part of this. Don't obsess over thinking you need to know every little bit to explain to your client. This is actually a lot easier than you think. When I first started, what would happen is if I was in a home and a client asked me uh, an insurance question that I didn't know, all I would say is, that's an excellent question. Let me get my senior supervisor on the line. Nelson, hey, this is Lake. I'm here with Mary and Joe. They had a great question. They were asking me what the interest rate on a universal life is right now. He'd tell me. He'd talk to the clients. I'd put them on speaker. He'd talk me up a little bit, answer the question. Thank you. See you later. I learn something, the clients learn something, they don't know any better. That's the best way to learn. Beyond that, you can spend time after your money-making activity hours to learn the products. For instance, just go to the carrier website, find a link that says training, start reading up on the policy types, play around with the um, uh, coding tools that are on your desktop. Not so much the, the mobile coding tools, but if you go onto the actual carrier's website, and you play with the quoting tools, you can print an illustration. What that'll do is it'll print a mock-up illustration that has all of the benefits of that specific policy. So you can read through it. That's how I found out um, You know, Mutual of Omaha will give you up to 25, uh, I think it's 25% of your death benefit if you incur so much damage on your house due to like um, a tree falling off or they'll give you a, a year break from your premium if if uh, you know, something like that happens. I need to go back and read it because obviously I've forgotten, but it is what it is. But it's, it's neat little perks like that. You can add value to your clients, okay? It's not all just about living benefits, all right? Important announcement. We do have a training coming up in Raleigh on the 26th. I'm going to be there. Are you going to be there? It will give you a six month head start in your learning curve. We all saw the example with Rachel DeLeo. She went after her first month to a boot camp, and then boom, her very next month she wrote 20K. Do I need to say anymore? Do you wanna be as good as you can be in this business, right? I've got my boy Zach coming from Utah to this boot camp. That's how serious and committed he is. It's extremely important for that because not only you're going to learn a lot, you're going to rub shoulders with all of us. You're going to get to know us. And guess what? I learned most of what I learned at the after party dinner because I was able to take what I learned and ask all my questions to all the top agents. Little tip there, right? So that's going to give you a shorten your learning curve by a lot. I was blessed because I came in to the Leisure Group um, at the very beginning of a December and we had a boot camp. Um, you know, our national conference in Florida that very February. So I was able to, boom, get in and jump in and go. I was able to jump right in and go. So it helped a lot. 
find a way to get there, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. If you're going to go see your favorite artist in the concert, or if you're going to go to your, your favorite sporting event, would you find a way to get there? Yeah. If you had a chance to go, you'd find a way to get there. So be obsessed with getting there for yourself and your future, because seriously, 200000 $250,000 a year is on the other side, right? With virtual, with phone burner, with um, you know everything that we have to offer with leads, you should be making $200,000 a year here, full-time. It's, it's definitely possible, but you have to get really good at what we do. It doesn't take that long. It's hard, definitely hard in the beginning, but the faster you work and the more you put yourself through, i.e. more appointments, more dials, you're gonna learn a lot faster, okay? So products, you guys got pen and papers ready? We're going to go through term products, okay? Carriers that offer term, Mutual of Omaha. Their product is called Term Express. Now Term Express is, comes all the way up from 10 years to 30 years in terms comes with a couple of different options, you know, riders in there, you can go and play around with those. So that's one. They also are the only other carrier that offers return a premium. They only offer return a premium on 30 year. So you can't get it on 20 year, you can't get it on 10 year, you can only get it on 30 year. Great for young folks. They also, to stay competitive, added their living benefits back into it. So traditionally it was, you either got living benefits or return a premium with all the other carriers doing it. They gave in and do it. Their living benefits are only 80%. They're, the, they're one of the lowest that we have, okay? We don't tend to use them. It's a harder signature process. Um, it's also, it's, they're, they're kind of competitive, but we use them mostly for their accidental. Next term, CFG. It's a great one. This is what Van Barnett writes a lot of. It's called Safe Shield, aka SIT, signif um, Simplified Issued Term. That's the coding tool you can get on your app. So CFG, Safe Shield, or SIT. It's the same thing. Okay. They're really great for people who've had cancer. They only look back five years on cancer. So if you've had someone that's had cancer, most carriers are going to make you look back 10 years. Okay. With CFG, it's only five years. That's unless it's lung cancer or leukemia or pancreatic cancer. So minus those three, they only look back five years. Okay. They no longer have a return of premium option. That's, that's done and gone. Next, for term, we have Foresters. Strong foundation. More specifically, Forrester Strong Foundation 2018. They're going to be one of the, um, they're going to go back and forth between Americo. Americo's actually been a little bit cheaper than um, uh, Forrester's lately for the straight term. Okay. They don't have any return and premium options, but they're very lenient on diabetes. I'm giving you these little hints of why I use these carriers for why I do, because they have special perks. I want to use CFG if someone's had cancer six years ago, because I know no other carrier will touch them. Okay. I will use Foresters if someone has diabetes. They have a diabetes calculator that you can use. They're more lenient on that. So I'm going to use them where America might decline them. Definitely Mutual of Omaha will decline them. CFG, they have their own way of doing it, but they're pretty strict with diabetes. Um, Forrester's is the most easygoing. So Forrester's Strong Foundation 2018. Next, you have American Amicable. You have their easy term product and you have their home protector product. Two term products. Um, the home protector is going to act just like a regular term. And the easy term is just a little bit cheaper, but it definitely doesn't pay you that much. So stay away from that if you can. Um, they're also pretty strict, no ROP options. Uh, actually, I believe Home Protector has an ROP option. Yes, ROP has, uh, I mean, Home Protector for American Amicable has a return premium option. Then you have Americo. 
our bread and butter. They have several term options, four to be exact. Now this is where people get confused, so I'm gonna explain it real quick. So you've got Americo T100. That means term 100. So that means that they just get all of the death benefit and they get 100% of uh, the um, living benefits if they need to use it, okay? That's gonna be their regular term. Americo does pay us 20% more. They're not gonna pay you 20% more on the T100, okay? It's just a regular term. Then you have Americo T125. What's the difference? Well, it automatically includes 25% of the base death benefit is, is added on as accidental. So if you have a $100,000 death benefit and they die by accident, they get $125,000, okay? That's the biggest difference. Still get all the living benefits, all right? Then you have CBO 50. CBO 50 means that you get 50% of the cash that you put into the policy. So by the end of the term, you're getting half of your money back. So you split the difference with the carrier. Still comes with all the living benefits. CBO 100 means you get back all of the premiums at the end of the term. Now they have options for 15 year, 20 year, 25 and 30 year, all cash backs, right? The way that they design it though, is it's actually gonna be cheaper for the longer term because they're investing the premium that you're putting in, the client's putting in. So they need that to build up over time in order to you know, make a little bit of money and recruit their, their funds, okay? So, if you look at it, if you play around with a with a quoter and you look at a, a CBO 100 at 15 year and a CBO at 30 year, you'll find that the 30 year is cheaper. So always go 30 year, okay? Uh, and then actually we're missing one. We have payment protector. Payment protector is a decreasing term. I love payment protector. The reason I love it is because it gives older folks an affordable term product. So what they do is that you'll start out at 100,000 and then over the period of time that you have your policy, 15, 20, 25, 30 years, it's actually going down. Hang on one second. Am I still breaking up? Thank you, Purvis. We good, Purvis, it's on your end, bro. Now you're coming in crystal clear over here. Perfect. Well, Jason, you have like 007's internet at your house, so it doesn't surprise me. I'm at a hackerspace right now. So, okay. Yeah. 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 Playing war games with uh, Ferris Bueller over there. So, yeah, there you go. Um, so, anyways, um, you have payment protector. It's a decreasing term. So, no living benefits. Keep that in mind. No living benefits. But it keeps the cost affordable for older folks. That's two payout options. Folks can take the death benefit as a lump sum, or they can take a monthly payment every month for the rest of the term. So let's say you wrote them a $100,000 policy and if they took out 100,000, if they died tomorrow, they get 100,000. Or they could get $1,500 monthly. If you do the math, if they take the monthly option, they die early on in the policy, they actually get paid way more than 100,000, okay? But what it does, it allows to give you those people in the, who are healthy in their 60s and 70s gives them a chance to get some term in the higher amounts, right? Instead of doing straight up mortgage payment protection, it gives them those options. A lot of people like to see that. So that's why I write payment protector and it pays you the 20% more, just like CBO 100, just like CBO 50 and T125, okay? So, oh, uh, let's see. We've done Mutual of Omaha, CFG, Foresters, Amerim, AMAM, and Americo. I believe that's it for our term. Jared, you on here, buddy? No, Paul, you're here. Did I miss anything? Oh, let me check my binder here for you. Pretty, pretty I'm sure he's good. Uh, though. Oh, Transamerica? Transamerica. No, so we're not going to go over that. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. We're not going to go over that. So yeah. uh, leave Transamerica out of your mind. So all of those options I showed you are non-medical. So they're just gonna check prescription history and background. When do we use these term products, right? We're gonna use them if they're young and healthy. 
If it's payment protector, it's old and healthy. Okay, no heart attack, no stroke, no cancer, no circulatory surgeries. Okay, that's when you're going to use term. Keep it simple. Don't go in and show everybody an SUL on the first stop because you will lose 90% of the time. Because if you show someone who just wanted coverage and you show them some complicated option, guess what? A confused mind says no. All right, so we're going to start with the most basic option for everybody. Little rule of thumb, anybody under 45, I like to do CBL 100, okay? Anybody over 45 to about 60, I like to do, you know, T125 for America or Foresters, okay, if I can get it. And then anybody over 60, I like to use payment protector. That's what I do. America is going to pay you more and they're going to make your clients happier. So why not use that? All right. Um, as far as term, it's, it's pretty straightforward. They just got to be healthy. You're going to show them the leaser formula. And the leaser formula is you have a mortgage protection lead. Let's say someone's mortgage is 100. Uh, let's say it's $200,000. We're going to show them three different options. Okay, so I'm going to show them a preferred, which is the full mortgage. I'm going to show them half the mortgage, and I'm going to show them half of that. Those are the three options. That is the leaser formula. That's how I split it up every time. Now, these clients didn't qualify for it because of their age, but the last two options, standard and basic, you're always going to add an accidental rider to it, or you're going to add an accidental policy, right? Because look, they get they can get two hundred thousand dollars for one hundred and fifty eight a month, or they can get a hundred thousand if they die by accident. They can get two hundred thousand. People are going to go right for standard most of the time. Standard, preferred, and then if you have some budget squeezers, you're going to get basic. Okay, so always add accidental riders to the standard basic. Now on to the next products, accidental. If you have your health license, you can write Mutual of Omaha's Guaranteed Advantage. That comes, it's a 20-year term. And if you're under age 50, you can get return of premium. Over age 50, you just get regular accidental. You can write it to age 70. And in that point, if you write it at age 70, it lasts until age 80. Okay, so it's, it's not going to last a full 20 years. Next, if you don't have your health license, we do have options. We have Foresters Prepared 2. Like World War II, it's not like the natural two. It's like the two lines, World War II, Prepared 2. That is technically a term insurance. So how they get around it is they offer a thousand dollar death benefit and, you know, up to $250,000 for accidental rider. That's how they get around it. Okay. That's great. That's also 20 year term. Next one is my favorite. Guess what? It's America. It's called ADB. All right. I want everybody to get their contracts in their head. What is your contract with these group? Okay, add 30% of that. That's what you get paid on, on uh, Americo ADB. 30% more. All right, that's going to blow everybody out of the water. They go up to 250000 Here's a cool thing. Under age 50, it lasts 30 years. It's great to protect mortgages with. So if I have someone that I need to help that's young and not very healthy, they're either overweight or they have a disease. Talk to a 37-year-old gentleman that had blood clots from COVID, right? He had a circulatory surgery to take care of it. Now he can't get term. I was able to get a mortgage payment protection and Americo uh, ADB for $250,000. For $48, bucks, covered him for 30 years. Guess what his mortgage was? $220,000. Perfect. Hey, ladies, yes. Can you touch on the ADB health questions, though? Because there are a few. They're not really health questions. They are uh, like 
um, lifestyle questions. Do you plan yeah. on flying a plane? Do you plan on uh, skydiving, racing? Have you gotten any DUIs? They're more lifestyle questions to see what kind of danger you'd be putting yourself in. Uh, if you're a line worker for electric electrical company, you're not going to get covered because you have a high risk of dying. If you're an underwater welder, you're not going to get covered because you have a high risk of dying due to occupation. Okay, that's like the same with prepared to and even um, Future of Omaha's guaranteed advantage. Okay. Hey, Lee. But, yes. Hey, real quick. Sorry, this is Megan. There is actually a question on there about if you are in a wheelchair or using oxygen. I know because there was somebody that got declined because of that. Yes, great. Yeah, that's the next one. So wheelchair or oxygen, obviously those are more dangerous if you fall down the stairs in a wheelchair or um, if you you know accidentally catch your house on fire with oxygen, okay? So you should always be supplementing every single policy with an accidental. This is how I explain it. Hey, Joe and Mary, we protect our clients in two different ways. The first is bodily injury. It's going to cover slips, trips, falls. You know, if you're Thelma and Louise and, and uh, you know, the car crashes down the ravine by accident, right? Um, it's going to cover you, okay? Because we don't know how we're going to pass away. Do you have a crystal ball that's going to tell you exactly how you're going to pass away? No, exactly. But the good thing about it is you can get a lot of coverage, very little premium, Okay. And then I just show them, here's 250, here's 200, here's 150. Out of these three options, which one makes sense to you? And then they're going to pick one. It makes sense to them, right? They get to cover the entire amount for 30 years for accidental. Now, if they die by accident because they have both policy, their family's going to get double what they picked out, right? So it's going to leave extra behind. Families love that. And then you go in and then you sell the term product. Okay, we're not going to get into that tonight, but that's how I pitch accidental and shorthand. You always go with mortgage payment protection. If they're under 70 years old, write them a policy for accidental. Just makes sense. Even though they're more likely to pass away of a natural cause, you can't rule out an accident, right? My grandmother passed away by being on blood thinner. She slipped and hit her head. She had a brain hemorrhage. No one knew about it. No one knew about it and neither did she. She wasn't bleeding or anything. She just had a little egg on the back of her head. Four days later, she was gone, okay? You just never know what's gonna happen. They understand that, okay? So next is final expense. So we use final expense whole life products for mortgage payment protection. If you go back to my video, I'm sure all of you have seen my videos. Uh, and listen to the phone call with Josh Harris about mortgage payment protection. It's a concept sale for older people or unhealthy people. It's covering one, two, three years of mortgage payments if um, so that they can protect the equity in their home, so that their spouse can pay for the mortgage for one, two, three years to decide, either, hey, do I want to refinance it? Do I want to sell it and collect the equity that I've earned? Okay. Now, your clients don't know what they can get. So by adding that accidental in there and showing them that they can get a big face death benefit, right? That's gonna make them set them up even easier to get the mortgage payment protection. So we have Americo, Ego Premier. I'm going with these guys first for the fact that they have two ways you can fill out an application on this. You need to fill out the application through the agent portal, AmeriCo agent portal. You're going to log in. You're going to see agent tools. That's where you're going to fill out all of your Eagle Premier final expense because they will give you an extra 25% of your AP towards your bonus. So if you write over $45,000 in a six month period. So they do one from January to June, and then they do one from um, July to November or mid-December. If you write 45,000 and above annual premium, they will hand you a 10% check share. It usually was 8%, but they'll hand you 10% check just for writing that much annual premium. Okay, so it's an extra incentive. 
So by writing your Eagle uh, Premier Final Expense through Agent Tools, they'll give you an extra 25% credit towards your bonus. It's called a You First bonus. If I write 1,000 AP, I'm going to get 1,250 AP towards my You First bonus. Okay. Now you have um, with the Americo Eagle Premier, if you've got any smoker, if you run into a smoker that's already have a policy through Mutual of Omaha, through Foresters, through CFG, any other carrier that you can think of, you can switch this client to Americo Eagle Premier because they have the quick smoking advantage. That gives you three years to quit smoking before they decide to raise or keep your premium the same. All that happens at the end of the third year is they send a, a mouth swab in the mail. You swab it and put it back in. They test for nicotine. If there's no nicotine present, guess what? You get to keep the non-smoker rate. If there is nicotine, they have two options. They can keep the same premium and lower the face amount to match it as a smoker, or they can pay more premium to keep the same face amount. But look at it this way. If I were to start a whole life product as a smoker, um, as a smoker, okay? And I were gonna pay on that for 20 years when I die. I had smoker rates that entire time. Now, if I had Eagle Premier as a smoker, I get three years free of non-smoker rates. I still lived 20 years and died. I paid less in total insurance from the day I started to the day I die. It just makes sense. You can save someone half their premium cost if you run into them and they're smokers, right? And they already have a final expense policy. So keep that in mind. These are the values that you can think of when you're on the phone with clients, right? Hey, I already got that taken care of. Great, what did you get that taken care of with? Well, I got it taken care of with Mutual of Omaha. Oh, awesome, what kind of program? Well, they gave me 12 months, 18 months, and uh, 24 months, and I went with an 18-month option, okay? I see you're a smoker. Were you aware that you could get a non-smoker rate through another company and save like half your premium? Boom, you set up an appointment, you're right in that, golden. Plus you get paid more. <laughs> America likes to pay us more, okay? So those are the advantages of America Eagle Premier. Now you've got CVS Aetna, it's called Ascendo FE. They also pay 20% more. There's age bands. So they'll pay you the 20% more between ages 60 and 80. Anything below that or above that, they're gonna pay you your normal contract. Here's the cool thing too. They pay the highest residuals out of any carrier on whole life products. They pay you forever on residuals. Every other carrier pays you for 10 years on residuals. They will pay you forever. As long as the client keeps paying, they will pay you every year a residual. So that's pretty cool. Um, as far as their benefits, they do have a terminal illness rider benefit as well. If they happen to have uh, Medicare through CVS Aetna, they can get a super preferred rate, which means that they can get a cheaper rate just for bundling both of them. You don't have to be the agent that sold them Medicare. Okay. They're a great company. Now, here's the cool thing. With CVS, you have a couple options for signature. You can do an e-signature where you send a client an email, they go through a signature process, or you can do a voice signature. I don't even think it's a voice signature. It's called a security question signature. Literally, it gives you... It gives you four or five options. What's your father's maiden name? Well, I mean, what's your mother's maiden name? What, uh, what was the name of your first pet? What was the name of the street that, you're, uh, that you grew up on? What was the city your first job was in? Okay, it'll give you those options. All you have to do is read the disclosures. And if they agree to give you an answer to the security question, they'll tell you my, the name of my first pet was Brandy. You type in Brandy. It's signed on the client side. They don't have to do anything. It's the easiest signature in the world. Um, going back to signature process through Americo Ego Premier, they have the, the e-signature process. So you can send by email. With Ego Premier, you can actually do a text signature. So you've got these old folks who can't work computers. It's really a hard time for them. 
you know, they can't remember the password to their email or they can't get into on their phone for some reason, they can just get a text message of the code. They're going to read the code to you. You plug the code in, that counts as their signature. Those two have the easiest signature process in the entire FE world, okay? After CVS, we've got Mutual of Omaha's Living Promise. They usually are the least expensive, but boy, are they a pain in the butt to sign. They have multiple signatures. They have one right in the middle of the application. It's really hard for the, the clients to see, um, but if they're younger, they'll be fine. Here's one of the benefits. They do have a terminal illness rider and they have a long-term care rider type thing where if you are confined to a nursing home for more than 90 days and expected to stay, you can collect up to a certain amount of your death benefit. So your beneficiaries can help you collect some of your death benefit to pay for your nursing home, right? If you go into hospice. Older folks like that because they're worried if they end up you know, getting dementia or Alzheimer's, at least uh, some of their uh, nursing home costs be covered, okay? After that, you've got CFG Dignified Choice. Straight up regular FE, pretty easy to write. You can do a voice signature process on there. And then you have the regular e-signature process. Voice signature is you just call up a line. You have the client on there with you. You follow the telesale process that they have. It's a PDF form from their website. Ask your upline for it. Uh, and you can sign that way. Next, you have Forrester's uh, plan right. Plan right is pretty lenient on most things. So keep in mind that they're pretty easy. You have to run that through your aptical or live app. You'll see live app when you log into Forrester's. You have to run it that way. The other disadvantage is that you have to do a, um, a phone health interview with the client on the line. Sometimes it can get a little messy. Um, they're going to get an email. So talk to your upline, but sometimes it's unavoidable because they have such good rates uh, and they'll take some kind of wacky health issues. Okay. And then we have Transamerica. Avoid Transamerica if you can. Transamerica has the most clumsy backwoods signature process you can imagine. It's just, it's just overcomplicated. Um, it's multiple process. It's just a pain in the butt. Even though they, they sometimes are the cheapest, it doesn't matter. They've got, um, you know, 50% um, terminal illness rider. It's not that great. But there is one time you should use... Transamerica, it's when a diabetic has neuropathy. They'll accept that. Where most carriers like um, Americo, CFG, Foresters will not accept that. Okay. They'll accept it at a, at a standard rate. So they do have their advantage because we can get them a cheaper rate than most. Then you have your guaranteed products. You have the Great Western. That is if someone has current cancer, a recent heart attack, a debilitating disease, that's going to come with a two-year waiting period. Okay, that means that they don't get the full death benefit until after two years. Why do they do that? Well, they don't ask any health questions or very little health questions. Okay, so how I explain it to my client is that if you have identical twins with red cars and they live in the same city, one has a good driving record and one has a, buy, a bad driver, who's going to pay more for their car insurance, right? Who's going to have the higher deductible? It's going to be the person with the bad driving record. It's the same thing with your health, okay? Even though that your health isn't the greatest, we can still get you approved. Now, if they die within that two-year waiting period, the carrier will still pay them back every single penny that they paid into it, plus a 10% bonus. You cannot get an instant 10% return on your money anywhere in the stock market right now. Okay. It's even hard with real estate. So 
If they die due to an accident within the first two years, they get the full death benefit. Now, if you have to go graded, double check, they do pay you less. Because it's such a risky product, they do pay you less, okay? Um, you're gonna only get a six month advance, right, compared to the regular nine month advance with other carriers. So if you can, look to see and talk to your upline about CBS modified. It's the same type of deal. They're still gonna ask you health questions. If you have anything super detrimental, they'll decline you. But if you can sneak in and get CVS modified, they'll pay you your full base contract on that, which is unheard of. CFG's guaranteed issue won't even pay you. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious, by the way. If you're if you get the the basic or the select through CFG, they do not pay you any commission. Okay. So avoid that like the plague. Um, so you have CFG FE talked about that um they have three options they've got uh let me check they do it a little bit different so what the rating options are is they they're based on your health you can either get a preferred option which you have pretty decent health so we're going to give you the best rate you can have a standard option which is eh, you're a little unhealthy but we'll still accept you and then you have the basic option which you have pretty bad health but they're, they'll give you a little bit of a um, little bit of help, a little bit of insurance. So they have elite select and advantage. That's their preferred standard basic. So elite is their preferred, select is their uh, in between, and advantage is their basic. Again, voice signature process, pretty easy. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for the carriers. So um, we're gonna use mainly final expense for mortgage payment protection. If you're on tier three leads and you're doing live transfers, you're gonna get a lot of FE. So keep in mind that. A little secret is that you can use, if you have a really healthy client and they want a whole life product, you can get really cheap rates with Forrester's SUL. Now you can only go down to 25,000 but they can still get some pretty cheap rates and they can get a lot of death benefit for affordable compared to these final expense policies that are gonna cost almost the same for a lot less death benefit. So that's a little secret right there. But I encourage you to go to these websites, everything that I wrote down, go to their websites, watch their training videos, read the brochures, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to gain ammo to add value to your clients. Now, I don't want you, you know, word vomiting on your clients and just spilling the value. What you're going to do is you're going to have all this value in your back pocket. So when it comes up in conversation, you can show them the value. Like some client will ask, hey, does this policy build cash value? That's a great point. This does build cash value at 4%. It also has this benefit, right? Because when value exceeds price, that's when you're going to make the sale. So I know this is, wasn't the, the most fun Wednesday winners, but it's important. Um, I don't want you guys getting stressed out about not knowing the products. That's what you need to know. You're going to learn them as you go. So the best thing you can do is set as many appointments as possible. I want you to get uncomfortable and feel like you have way too many appointments. That's when you're going to be in the learning zone. Okay. That's really when you're going to step it up because let's say you have 15 appointments in a week. For some of you, that's scary, right? That's a lot of appointments. That's um, just a lot to handle, a lot of people, right? Well, if you only close 30% of that, that's still five five deals, right? That's 5,000 AP. And if you met with every single one of them, it's unlikely you're probably going to meet with 12 or maybe even 10. But think of how much you learned from the ones that you didn't sell as well ones that you did sell. So do yourself a favor and set as many appointments as possible so that you can learn and earn the best. All right. Any questions? Jeffrey Morales, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? My uh, question for the payment protector. <clears throat> so um, you said they can get the lump sum or they can get the uh, monthly payments. Um, 
do do they choose that or the beneficiary the beneficiary chooses that yes gotcha yeah. you can set it up a couple different ways on how to sell it um typically i'm going to sell it as uh, a death benefit option where is it so let me show you how it works whoops so yeah i just i just wrote one like uh, about two weeks ago, but I, I wasn't sure if that it did both. Yeah, it's not loading, but what I usually do is there's two options. Automatically is going to pull up and say that, um, you know, you're going to do it for the monthly benefit. I change it to the face amount because it tends to be a little bit cheaper. Uh, 10, 15, 1978. Payment protector. So see how it says monthly income, right? So if they die, their initial lump sum death benefit will be around 55000 Or they could get $250 a month for 30 years. So you do the math. It's a lot more. Oh, yeah. Right? But if the client is, you know, say born in 1958, right, uh, not 30 years, so they move years so there see how their death benefit drops yeah right so let's say they have a hundred thousand dollar loan it's just a little easier for them to understand the death benefit amount the lump sum and then add on so the lump, initial lump sum if i refresh this is a hundred thousand dollars it's going to be 105 a month, or they can decide to take 714 a month for the rest of the term. Gotcha. Does that make sense, Jeffrey? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's the way I did it whenever I wrote it. I just didn't know if it was like they, I mean, if they were choosing either or at the time of the application. Nope, you're good. Awesome. Any other questions? We've got Stephanie. What's up, Stephanie? You're on mute. On the payment protector decreasing term, uh, you does that premium decrease as well? No, great question. So they're going to average it out over the course of the term okay. and just take the lower, you know, they're going to take that average of what it would cost. They're just going to keep your premium low. Um, so to give you an example, we're going to use the same so can you keep this number in your mind, Stephanie? 105.92. Okay. 15 years at 100,000. And let me write this down on 10, 15, 58. like I got HughesNet here or something. I'm supposed to have high speed. Well, you guys can play around with it yourself, but it's significantly cheaper. Okay. So all that's going to happen is that the death benefits going to decrease over time until it reaches zero at the end of the policy. Okay. And then the, um, the, Forrester's plan right live app with the phone interview. Is that only when they're open or can you do the phone interview anytime? Uh, so Aptical is open quite a bit. They're open pretty late. I okay. think they're open to like eight or nine or, or 10 central time. Okay. Um, they're open on weekends. So they, they give you plenty of time to do that. Good question though. Any other questions before I shut this down? We got Zach. What's up, Zachary? Hey, what's going on, man? Um, you had mentioned at some point uh, someone doing an SUL. What it, I was curious, what's an SUL and what's a VDK? Okay, so SUL is Forrester's version of a universal life product. So it is a permanent 
insurance policy like whole life. The difference is the interest rate is variable on an index universal life. It fluctuates from a floor rate, so it cannot go below zero, and a cap rate, so it cannot go above a certain percentage rate. Yeah. It's gonna use some of that cash value to keep your premium level as you age significantly, okay? A regular whole life policy is more expensive because they're taking that premium into consideration as you age. And instead of um, having a choice where your money goes, right? They're gonna say, hey, you're just gonna earn a fixed rate of 4% and we'll pay you dividends if there's extra money, okay? Um, SUL has flexible premium, so you can pay the target premium um, or you can pay the minimum premium to act like a term. Sometimes that's helpful. Uh, but we'll we'll get into that. You and I will get into that uh, when we run into one. Okay. A VDK is a virtual door knock. Back in the day when I first started, if someone didn't pick up and they're a local lead, we would just show up with the lead, knock on their door and say, hey, is this you? And start a conversation from there. Nowadays, since it's all virtual, we send a virtual door knock. We send a picture of the lead and say, hey, Mary, uh, my name is Zach. Just trying to follow up with you about a form you sent in a while back about mortgage protection. Give me a call back at such and such number. I'll That's send just... you a couple of ver uh, the uh, templates that I have. Okay, sweet. And that's just something you text them? Yeah, if you can't, if you do like three or four dial sessions, so you've dialed them eight to 10 times and you can't get a hold of them, I would send a VDK at that point. Gotcha. Okay. Sweet. Thanks, man. Yeah, you got it. Guys, it's 920. It's later than usual. Um, thank you for being patient with me and hopping on late. So I will see you guys next week and uh, keep your goals in mind and start putting in massive activity. Make sure you get your butts to the training or else. Later. Thank you, Lake. Thanks, Lake. Thanks. Absolutely.